Boom. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, bodies of water, welcome back to the Alchemy Lab. My name is Lee, and I'm playing several characters today. My name is Carl, and I'm also playing several characters. And my name is Matt, and I always play several characters because I am the, <laughs> the dungeon master. Oh. That was such a luxury problem, wasn't it? Like, oh, yeah. I have to play two characters today. And yeah. like, Shut up. Shut, Shut up. up. Get oh. back in your boxes. Oh, how many accents do you have to worry about today? Oh, two. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> how many I'm prostitutes sure we'll do, you, how many DM, do you have characters. to role play as today? This is really Zero. hard, DM. I have to do two characters today. Shut up. <laughs> I am the world. <laughs> I had to role play as prostitute twins in one ep one episode for you guys. You did, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back, everyone. Don't call it a comeback to the Shattered Lands Streets of Mere. We're on case We've number been... 14. What's it called? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> we established this us. long ago. Yeah, it was... People are going, okay. this has been a while <laughs> since we've recorded I've one of moved, these. I've moved since we worked this out. Carl's had I a, have a small son. human. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I've i been... Matt has got some lovely drapes in the background. I, and I Everything's have changing. Curtains, so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Don't, don't be afraid of change. It's all good. <laughs> 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 right. Now, I'm not sure if this is two titles or just one title. Okay. We probably should have established this before I hit record. What yeah, I have yeah. down here is C. Vicus Pacum Parabellum. I thought I, th I thought we picked one of them. Which one did we pick? <laughs> I, thi I think we picked Parabellum. I think it was just Parabellum because it was prepare for war. Welcome to case number 14. <laughs> Parabellum. <laughs> You can see it's been a while for us, don't you? Yeah. Please, and boys, all right. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I didn't know what we are. Usually, I write the title at the top of the notebook that I plan all this stuff in. This time, we just wrote WAR in capital letters. Because that is what is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, bodies of water, it's time. It's time. We've been building this one up for a while. The delicious, the delicious finale. Of Carl's story, or maybe not. Maybe Carl dies. Mm. Now it should say as well. This is our. This is the penultimate case of the Streets of Mere. More to be done. More to be done, ladies and gentlemen. Bodies of water. And, and the next case, Carl one. knows nothing about. And I'm very excited about that. Yeah, me, I, me, I, me and Matt mm. spoke about this about a year ago. I have very no idea. Mm -hmm. All I know is it's, it's involving Cass. That's indeed. as far as I get. Well, so it's going to be interesting. Indeed. Well, gentlemen, we open in the devilish archive. Still boarded up. More for uh, the sake of cover at this point than because uh, it's no one wants to go in. I think people pretty much definitely want to go in. It was a hot bar, but right now it's also a hot target for the Delano family up above, and perhaps forces even higher. It's current... silver ships and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, good memories of blowing one of them up. <laughs> Fire! 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, are currently, uh... you are currently in the basement of the Devilish Archive. It is not an Eldritch Nightmare down there. It is about, about to say, just a I'm pretty sure we killed an Eldritch Nightmare down, down here once. You did, so, you did. But right now it is just a basement with um, with Brock Ironide's tools strewn about because it's also his workshop. But right in the middle of the table, right in the middle of the room, rather. Well, spoiler alert: there's a table. Is a table. It's <laughs> a big old table, big old oval-shaped table. And around the table are eight figures. Our players here are Swift, the uh, the officer, the detective in tier six. End of winter, 
the tabaxi hunter sexy debonair. man debonair yeah. cigar puffing effectively the, the, the James Bond of this world do you have James it? James Bond of this world I'm trying to find it it might have to be a pen Matt's prop uh, oh, you can't, prop. can tell it's been a while folks we've, got, we've not got it ready don't have it ready I might have to use a marker <laughs> A bit too thick. I'll use the pen. <laughs> All right. Swift is there. End of winter. Or Ender is there. Surak is there. Your uh, orcish Surak. chum that uh, Cassius <clears throat> has not met. I've not met. Bracus, of course, is very familiar with. Um, having adventured with him on uh, Kalgargarak, I believe, in the jungle. It was indeed. With the dinosaurs. Yeah. Z- zombie crystal dinosaurs. Yep. Yes. The asteroid dinosaurs. The zombie asteroid dinosaurs. Case number three, check it out. No, case five, I think. Whatever case yeah. it was, check it out. Yeah, if you so it's been it. a while. <laughs> Charon is also there. Grey tiefling. Basically the de facto head of tier seven. And... That's all of the people that I'll be voicing because also around the table is a giant hulking warforged. Kalthar is here. Kalthar is here. This is not happening in the, like in real time in the thing, by the way. It's not like, <laughs> it's not like an AA meeting. We're just this is exposition <laughs> for you. <laughs> Next to Kalthar is a Janassi fellow with magic zipping between his fingers. As always, little dancing light. Mm-hmm. Um, next to him is uh, a uh, Asimar. Fallen Asimar. Very suave looking. Rather debonair. With quick eyes and a silver tongue. Be not as debonair as Ender. Oh, you do me a service, dear boy. And next Maybe one <laughs> There is a bit of a thing we don't know, do we? We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who mm-hmm. knows? Mm-hmm. There is a bit of sexual tension in that air. Yeah. And next to him is a half walk with a big sword and a musket across his back. And a musket across his back. It is Charon who leans forward first. Right then, gentlemen. The pieces are set. Or as set as they can be. We have the orcs. Courtesy of Lord Solanziar and our friend Surak here. We have, I'm told... A company of war forged, courtesy of our friend Kalthar. We have my ruffians and vagabonds and layabouts. We even have the law on our side, which is uh, a bit of a surprise for me. And uh, Swift kind of gives a... Well, you know, needs must. The pieces are out. But where do we put them, gentlemen? Straight down the fucking throat of the, De- of the, of the Delano family. It's not a plan, Rackus. It'll be enough. Well, if you want to see people killed, then yes. I'm with him. Orcs are good for one thing, and that is hitting stuff. Very, very hard. And I've got a lot of boys who want to hit stuff hard. Yes. Yes, I can see the fire that I see in Gracchus. Surak, was it? Surak, yes. Now, you can still hit things with your big weapons, gentlemen, but 
I prefer to get out of this alive. I still have business as well. I'm assuming that you have a proposal. I'd like to see your proposal first, Carl. I mean, Gracchus. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck! Carl, oh, Brock's um, assistant, quickly leaves yeah. the room. <laughs> Sorry, oh, guys. Another, Sorry, to leave. another whiskey, please, Carl. I don't want your plan. I want a whiskey. Yes, now back yes, to model, you, yes, Gracchus. I think it would be best to hear your plan. This is your war. And perhaps I can optimize it. Fine. The Lano household is a fortress. We all know that. You and Torment, I think it was, know better than me, than most. Getting there is not going to be easy. Basically, all of Tier 5 is under their control, from what we understand. I don't care. One thing the Delanos and their people have learned about me is to be very fucking afraid of me. So when I march up the main street with Warforged and Orcs at my side, I kind of expect a lot of chaff to get out of the fucking way. You should definitely then, expect to be shot at from every rooftop as well. Thank you, Ender. Fine. The chaff gets out the way, makes it easier for them to kill you, Gracchus. This is not a dick measuring competition. This is war. And we will do war well. Fine. <clears throat> There's a secondary point. Um, Swift leans forward and says, There's um, the law up in tier five is pretty well equipped. I mean, better equipped than we are. And. They're likely in the Delano's pocket, which is they why are they have Delano's pocket. Right. Experience has taught me that much. Okay. Fine. I guess we can't do it my way. I accept we that. We can, but not at the start, Gracchus. Fine. You want to shove a sword down their throats, you shove it down two of their throats. Not all of them, because you will not make it to the gates. We no. will not make it to the gates. I'll be fine because I will not follow you into that, Gracchus. Mm -hmm. This is why I left when they had guns drawn at us. This is why you have your information now. This is why I'm back. So we could have tried to fight our way out of our little hidey hole and we would not be here having this conversation now. No, a sword down the throat, out of light for phallic, but... The point, I think, is that we have very hard hitters. We have very sneaky hitters as well. We also have someone who's been on the inside. And I'm not just talking about you, Mr. Valentine. I'm talking I about... I guess that's where I come in then, huh? Fine. Yes, it is. And we have one of your, well, not necessarily friends. He was quite upset with you. Marcus, I tried to smooth it over, and I think he's okay now. But we have several people who have seen the inside. Two more than I. Okay. We need to be smart, then. I suggest caution until we get in there. As soon as those doors open, you and your boys know what to do. Okay then I'm going to need everybody else's help because I will freely admit that it is taking every ounce of restraint to not just march up there now with what we have. But you're right. As ready as I am and as sure as I am that we can do some fucking damage with what we've got, we probably won't make it in the house. So, Look, your restraint's appreciated, especially given the circumstances. And you know, they've killed Taking. my boys too. Yeah. So. I we have hard this hitters. Just for me. Oh, I. We have hard hitters, right? Mm -hmm. Plenty of them. So, how do we deploy them effectively without getting them polished off before they can hit anything? What about a trap? 
we're walking onto home, their home territory, whatever happens, agreed? We have to go into tier five for, this, for us to do this. They know Ideally, we I wouldn't, am. but yes. Yes, we do. You're right. If I walk down the main street with Warforged and with Orcs, they're going to pick us off from the skylands. I understand that. How about we use that to our advantage then? We That's march right. in the street. Me, Surak, and the Orcs are going to come with him. We draw their eye. We let them reveal their hand. And then we pick it off from behind them when they're not looking. Up there, you want to do that? An idea. I'm a hunter. I'm a hunter. And the best way to deal with a large, dangerous beast is to get it on your turf. Hmm. And how do we get the body of their force down here to six? He makes a mischief, Krakus. They won't come down, but they will send some that will. Hit the businesses on the sixth, on tier six, like we did in tier seven. Hit everything here. They will send a small deployment, maybe a take medium deployment. We take that apart. We kill them with a thousand cuts. Okay. We need to make some noise, Gracchus, and you're very good at making noise. That I am more than happy to do. I want something to keep a little. Calthar, you're Warforged. Yes. If we were to put, acquire a. call it a dropship, how durable are they for a fall? We'll make it. Fine. I spent. My in the I spent eons out in the void. And I'm still here. Perfect. A little jump they, won't hurt us. And they'll be our ace in the hole. We keep everyone out. All the other Warforged don't work with us for now. We'll keep them back. So that when we have to march to five, a little shock and awe. I like shock and awe. Okay. I like it a lot. So, what we need now then is a, is knowledge of every single office, everything we can hit on this floor, on this tier. I want that. I want the Delanos so pissed that they had they can't think straight and that they send more than they need to, but not well enough to prepare. Swift, what information do we have on that? Well, we know of a number of. Um... A number of smugglers, a number of drug runners, particularly at the docks. We think also they're using the um, the cobalt tunnels in the walls. You know, the cobalts run around, they turn on the lights, they help the pipes and things, the sewage and the water. These are one of, this is one of the three ways we can get up to tier five, Gracchus. We have the cobalt tunnels, we have the roads, and we have the docks. Uh, and that's what they're using. They're using the tunnels, we think, to transfer okay. some of their awful um, haze down to five, down from five to six, and then from six to seven. Okay. Haze is their main in income source at the moment. It's what seems to be pushing the most. So if we hit the supply, and the, we hit the, the flow of the haze, that will anger them. And they were doing that in that temple, weren't they? Temple of Gond. Yeah, they were. I'm wondering Did you make if quite a mess up there? Just a bit. Aye. Just wish you didn't have to pretend, pretend to be that fucking idiot Perry for so long. <sighs> okay, so. We know they're, get, sending, we draw them. they're sending that stuff still down to seven. We took out, I mean, when you took out that temple... It cut the supply by about half, we think. So there's at least one other big site where they're making it. And we believe that's here. It okay. could be on six. It's not on seven. We have not. They were, um, they're, 
We have too many eyes on Seven. Definitely they can't find it. We can't find it, so. An eight, I mean, you, the under the under tiers, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to put something of that uh, scale down there. Dolores wouldn't risk it. No. Would your old friend know, Rackers? Maybe. But if he does, he's on a watch list now. We need to do this. We need to do this very quickly. Now that... That might be a place for a, a little shock and door. What are you thinking, Ender? Well, you know, a big enough, a big enough splash tends to draw the. Uh, uh, I forget. You know, may not have seen as much water as I have. Um, there are areas around uh, in the shattered lands where large bodies of water still exist and there are large creatures that live in them don't know what they're called exactly we call them leathery toothy bastards mainly but one drop of blood in there or a big enough splash and they frenzy and try and tear you apart if you're smart enough about it you can drop a significant explosive into the water so when they're frenzy you blow them apart a big enough splash a big enough bang I think that is your shock and awe dormant could you tell us where these are? Fuck in for a pound. Fine. Oh, give me the map. I'll mark the ones that I'm aware of. They're probably not all of them. Because the Delanos don't like to give that much info out to everyone. I'm sure you remember that, Gracchus, but I can tell you where are ones I know. And to your point, Officer Swift, is it or whatever? Yeah, they're running stuff through the cobalt tunnels is a pretty common one. To get it down here and, and down to seven. Most of the most of their facilities are actually stationed around the docks. If I'm being honest, most of the weapons traders and armor smiths and shit like that. Guys, you have a big warehouse by the docks for a reason. They're on the take. Mm. Half of their half the warehouse they've got isn't being used by their stuff, it's being used by the Delanos for haze. You shake down the docks, you're going to make enough noise that you're going to draw some to attention. I think this is where we hit it, Gracchus. We hit the docks in the surrounding areas. We make a big noise. Sounds good. Now we need I a think we need to. I think we need to bait them. You always got to bait a good trip. Indeed. Once we've hit these places, Swift, I need you to act like you're on the take or potentially want to be on the take to introduce yourself into their payroll. Oh. You and your men will arrest myself, Gracchus, Tormund, anyone else, anyone else of interest here? Kaltha. Calthar did, did hit the temple with me. That and might... he stopped the assassination attempt on Cheron. It's. I mean, it's. I mean, it would. It would definitely. I mean, capturing you. I mean, okay. So arresting you would be definitely. I mean, definitely be enough to bring them out. But it's. It, it feels like too obvious a trap right now. Like I, I've been acting against them for, for months. I mean, we've been arresting their their people. That's why they, that's why they came down and, and attacked the devilish archive in the first place. 
Make one of your men send a message. Hold on. One of us is a spy master, effectively. Very good with rumor and has a very silver tongue. Well, I don't mean to brag, but... Information is your game, is it not, Mr. Valentine? We need one of your men then, Swift. Quite young, but quite... Well, not young, but quite early on in the game. We need him to be ambitious, but we need him to be loyal to you. We need someone that wants your job once you're gone, not to make you gone. Someone you can trust, someone ambitious, and he will be their peace. He can be his, he can be the bait for, in the trap. He can be the messenger of the trap. Swift does not send the message. One of his underlings sends the message. Someone who will want my job. Someone who wants your job and wants a lot of money from the Delanos for a big, big piece of the cake. Right, but... To, to suggest that I'm on the take? No, no, just to suggest that we are here in your custody. Well, this is... Inspector Swift. Inspector Swift is going to let them go very soon. He likes these men. But if you can get here now, you can take them. Hmm. Perhaps we need you on other business, Swift. Well, I mean, the, the main thing we need is to make this... Because why, because why would you have been arrested in the first place? Is the question. If I, I mean, I'm, if they know that I'm, we're, we're going to need to perhaps what if you sully my reputation a little bit. I think that might Who be is why. your second in command, Swift? Um, if you were to command. go down, who takes, who takes the role? My name Knight. Do you trust him? Is. Well enough. How do you feel about taking a bullet? Again. Um. Not in a uh, not in a vital area, preferably. Preferably not in a vital area. I'm quite a good shot. Well, it won't be me, but maybe it will be me. And he sort of jingles his. Wait, you're wait. So you're going to shoot me? I'm going to shoot you, Swift. Or I will take, I will incapacitate you somehow. If I can find a better way to do it, I will. Well, I'm shooting then, me. Shooting me is fine, but why would you shoot me? Force because, second command to take charge. Because I am not the person who I am right now. I will be there, and then I will not be there. Then I will be someone else. Then I will be someone who takes a shot at you. You are out of the game. Your second in command takes charge of the operation. The operation is his. He wants these men, and he wants the money of the Delanos. Your second takes me in, along with Cassius and everybody else. He sends a message. You're out of the picture. He can play mm. it off that you are the one leading the charge against the Delano family, but they and they are following because they are your subordinates. But now that you're out of the picture for a while, so he's the one on the take, not me. Yes, indeed. This sounds much better. Right. The problem is Knight's not on the take either, but he's not as... I doubt he's as well known. He doesn't need to be on the take. He just has right. to not be you. That's what well, Cassius I mean, if, wants. If they know... I don't know if they know him as well as they know me. Probably not. If they don't, then it, will, it should be fairly convincing. But still, we may need a little rumour control. Just we can do a little bit of rumour control and we can make this very, very visible that he is starting to taste the nectar of the dark underbelly of Mir. Tormund, Tormund sort of leans forward at this point and flickers away the light from his fingers. I may be on their list, but I still know people on six who are happy to spread my side. Six and five who will listen to the right rumour for the right price. 
Drop another do you know anyone? Do you know anyone that Knight could shake down? Yeah, there's a uh, spice trader in the marketplace in six. It's cover for haze. It's not the biggest target, but he's vocal. I'd like an introduction to Knight Swift. Yeah, I can do that. Obviously, I mean, in you're a master of disguise. I think you should be fine. We're going to go on a little walk, Knight and I. We're going to shake down a little spice trader on six. And we're going to start rumors that this man is turning. Hmm. A you turning mean, man in the tides of war is very important for the other side, Swift. Mm. Trust me, then, if you shake this one down, it will make it back to Delano's in about a day, if that. He likes to make a lot of noise to his dealer. I like noise. I like the right noise. Then, Swift, we will take you out of the game. Your piece will be off the table for now. And Which three point we hit? juicy prizes will be in the prison. If we delay our hits on the docks, the maiden child, until after Swift is out of the picture, it would make the lie of Knight be more convincing. You're not there to protect us anymore, Swift. Knight can happily take us in for causing all the problems. Mm. Yeah, uh, right. Hmm. Hmm. We're getting, we're still getting... We are still going to need... Um, who's talking now? Who hasn't talked for a while, Charles? You're still going to need to cause a bit of chaos down there. I mean, if you're, if you're delaying the attack on the docks, you're going to need to get their attention. They're going to have to have a reason to arrest you in the first place. The attack, the attack on the docks can be the reason. If we, could, if we get swift out of the picture, and then we hit the dock, night comes in during... After that's all taken place and arrests us for what we do. Mm. We hit the Delanos. How is your iron fist? My what? How is your iron fist? Have you ever indulged your law-abiding dictator side? Um I mean How do you feel about how do you feel about shaking up? Tier six with authoritarianism. I don't feel great about it. I don't think anyone would feel great about it. Oh, you mean. Uh, what, you're going to make it look like it. I'm doing that? Well, Mr. Swift has had a change of heart. People under him do not like this. Mr. Swift needs to come out of the picture. Making it more credible reason to get rid of him. Power corrupts men, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. What about Things... uh, perhaps this knight fellow might be a better uh, fall guy for that regard? He wants a bit more law and order, and he's happy to uh, engage in some uh, back patting. Oh, which is why he needs Swift out of the picture. Good work. Money. Good work. How does, that, how does that sit with you, Swift? It might be it might be better to, to put put Knight in this in that. I mean, again, they know me. They know me by now. They know I'm not exactly. I mean, it would be a big, it would be a big change in character for me. Maybe Fine. not for Knight. You take Swift out of the picture. You have Knight start clamping down. Give it a day. Make let that noise get around. Once it does, we hit the dock. We cause all the damage that we can to the warehouses to piss off the Delanos in that regard. Then in comes Knight with his boys to arrest us for breaching the peace. Let's make this simple. I'm thinking to to spiderweb about this. 
I'm going to make an assassination attempt on your life, Swift. I'm not going to, but someone is. Mm. They're going to do that very soon. While you're in the infirmary, Knight is going to step up and he is going to have a very big change of regime down here. People are not going to like that. He is going to rule with an iron fist and he wants money in that fist. Then we hit the docks, we are detained, and we bring the fly to the web. Sirak sort of frowns. I think you just said what he said, but in a sexier voice. That happens, Sirak. You get used to it. Well, it is on the same page. If you do that to me again, you will, you, I will have to uh, take you out of this meeting because you're giving away all my secrets, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you he's a hell of a hunter. Okay. So, once we draw their eye to the police station, I say we need to lock down the dock on Tier 5. I think so. And that is where I think Surak... And our friends will come in. We get you up on the docks. And you come aboard and you just appear off the ships and start causing havoc. Take control, lock it down. At which point we load the Warforge onto our ship and have it ready to go. You had me at havoc. That's fine. I thought I might. Are you saying I get no havoc, Gracchus? Oh, don't worry. You will. Once we've taken care of these at the police station, we start marching up to Tier 5. Again, the eye must stay on us while Surak takes the dock. Who is us? Yourself, Cassius, me, Torment, Charon's group. We make it very apparent what we're doing. Our attack on the dock might split their attention a bit, making your way up a little easier. And I have absolute faith in Sirak and his men and his men to take care of that problem for me. And if Kalthar, if your Warforge wouldn't indul- would indulge us in helping that attack in the meantime, it makes it even more certain. We'd like to get on the docks if that would help. I'm here to fight. I think this is not our war, though. This is not our war. We are here for you, Gragas. Well, I, I gather you will be fighting. You personally will be. But as for your companions, your comrades in arms, up there. They, I suspect, will be uh, jumping in when we hit the manor. Exactly. I see. The two groups you... converge, hit the manor from two sides, and then the Warforged hit it from Coming the... above. Is Tormund more sneaky? Not especially. Let me just double check. He's got a couple utility for it. Um, because really, we don't want to do sort of like that slow mo walk that happens in like action films where like they, you know they're finally <laughs> ready. Like uh, Cassius is not about that game. True. He's going to be up in the rooftops, sneaking around, slitting throats, and as is shit like that. You mean uh, you you mean you're not going to be all cool guys? Don't look at explosions. I mean, they're definitely going to be cool guys. Don't look at explosions. They're just going to be like... But he's going to be sneaky guys like, first. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. going to have to be a really wide lens. You know, it's yeah. going to be like, like one of those fishbowl yeah. lenses yeah. that like catches we're, we're the whole We're walking down the street and, and they're shit. jumping between the rooftops while it's going on. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Tormund has a couple. I'm just trying to pull up the sheet now. I'm pretty sure Tormund has, does have a couple of um, spells... Because I, I think you just need some really big targets walking down that road. Mm-hmm. If you've got anyone else that can hit the rooftop, so Ender's great. So Cass and Ender can definitely yeah, hit Torm- rooftops. Tormund can. I've got things Either like side. Clouds, um, Thunder Step, Lightning Bolt. He's still going to do damage, but he is. Um, so you've got three and three then. 
you got three yeah. and three for the for the the mm. walk to the gates. Yeah, you got the big and boys again, downstairs. Yeah. You've got the smaller boys running around, picking off here and there. Yeah, and we can okay. and we can and we can split Charon's group between as needed. So if we want more people, on the indeed, roof, we can use yeah, three. if we need more we rooftops, boost, if we need we more people number. down there. Mm-hmm. So the discussion okay. continues a little longer. The discussion Where continues. This is what has been said. This, this is, is what the has been said here. So I suppose the question is, who goes where? Who deals with what bit of chaos? Well, I'm the one they want, so it makes sense for me to be the one marching down the street. I meant, I meant before. When we're uh, when we're dealing with everything on six, so we Surak and his Surak and his his chaps are hitting that maintenance yard in the dock, where there's a big mm-hmm. haze production facility. Mister Valentine, you're dealing with Mister Swift, although not. I'm dealing with Mister Swift and making a regime change on tier six Indeed. and rumor control. And Mr. Fowbreaker, what are you doing? The docks as well? Why is it? That's what I'm thinking. It makes sense for me to be the ones causing chaos, since that's what I've been doing so far. You need to be very visible, Gragas. Then the docks make the most sense. Very visible and very scary. I think I can manage that. I think you can, brother. I think you can. Very good. Very good indeed. You have more assets, though, Gracchus. You have your orcs on the docks. You have myself dealing with rumor control. You have... I could always use the help of another... Quiet gentleman in the discreet gentleman. Discretion is well not my middle name, but it's, it's certainly something I'm known for. What about my boys? Have, my boys could do something. I want your boys split. Aye. Some of them with me, causing chaos. Cass and the Tormund as well. Memory says you were pretty good in the uh, underhanded stuff back in the day. You are going to keep us shielded from the skies. Rooftop. You're right. If we march down the street, they're going to just pepper us from above, and I can't stop that with the one I have. So I need you to clear the rooftops as we march. Or well, while you're like baiting them, I mean, like, what can we do? Right now, they're muscle. Raggers. Right now, they're muscle. Let's forget walking down the street right now. Mm. We have a lot of noise to make. The more noise we make down here, the easier your walk to the gates will be. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. I'll tell you what we could do while you're uh, blowing up docks and assassinating police officers. Although not really. We know where they're bringing the haze down. So we could cut, system. cut them off completely from seven. Capital idea. That will hit them where it hurts in the purse. Yep. Indeed. Well then, gentlemen. Shall we? I think... I think we'd better. At which point... I Gracchus it draws one of the daggers and just slams it into the map right on the Delano house. Gracchus has daggers. Gracchus has tooled the fuck up right now, all right? <laughs> Gracchus has most things. Gracchus, he has if, all if, things. If, if it can cause damage and or pain to people, Gracchus has probably got it somewhere. Gracchus stands up and just shoots the map. 
<laughs> with his mu- feel- with, with the musket. That, that feels everyone, a everyone gets their best weapon out and just re- destroys the map. Destroys the tape. And, and, then, and then and then Carl comes back in and goes, "Didn't you need that?" Yeah. And on Scene. that note, on that note, ladies, gentlemen, <laughs> bodies of water. They had a plan, but they've just scuppered it by blowing up the map. Shot it. Oh, shot so, the plan. So unfortunately, now the rest of of uh, Parabellum is going to be them making a new map. Winging it. <laughs> yeah. Not really. That'd Stay tuned. Right. All right. Next time. Next time. The chaos ensues. Well, begins properly. Right. Mm-hmm. And talking of chaos, where can you find me? <laughs> you can find me at Matt Waterhouse, author on Minds. Not sure where I am still. I've had six months to work this out. Still don't know. I'm still not there. See you next time for The War.